Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com. On the menu today, gonna to make this beautiful mashed potato with some lovely bits inside. We've got bacon, celery, corn, garlic, onions, some spices. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna boil up some potatoes, get them mashed together. Then we're gonna fry off a few bits and pieces, our bacon, onions and that, mix it together, pop it in the oven, bit of cheese on the top, and voila, it's done, it's delicious. Let's go and take a look at the ingredients that we need. Okay, so to get started, I've got like six or seven regular sized potatoes. I've peeled them, put them into some cold water. I'm just going to drop in some salt. What we're going to do is we're going to boil them until they're nice and soft. So once it reaches boiling point, probably going to take about another seven or eight minutes. Drain them off, give them a mash, then we can get on with all the other parts. This is really simple, but absolutely delicious. So they're boiling away nicely. The way that you know that your potatoes are done is you get a knife, put it into a potato, lift it out, and if the potato falls off, you're pretty much there. There you go. What we're gonna do is we're gonna drain them off, get rid of the water, and then get the potatoes back in this pot. We're gonna mash them up with a few little bits. So the water's been drained off, and while they're still hot, Get your potato masher and then just get in there. Before we add any bits, we're gonna add some black pepper, some butter and milk. But first, get in there, bit of elbow grease as we call it, and mash them up. So they've had a nice little mash, as you saw. I'm gonna get some butter in there. I like a sort of tablespoon of butter in the mix. I'm not gonna be adding any salt because we put salt in the potatoes when we boiled them. But I'm gonna get some black pepper in there. As much or as little as you like, really. Then we're gonna give this a little mix. And then we're gonna add some milk. But first, let's work this in. Then we'll add the milk. So a little splash of milk, not too much. You don't want to be going crazy. Work that in now. And you've got yourself some fantastic mashed potato. And then we're gonna add quite a few bits to this. And then bake it off in the oven. But there you go, done. Now when I was a kid, there was always a fight. I used to fight with my sister because the mashed potato would be done for your Sunday roast or whatever. And any bits left in the, the pot, we used to get in there with our finger and get it out and eat it. That was a right old treat that was when I was young. That's it, let's move on. Yeah, get in there with my finger like that. And... I just love doing that. I still do. Okay, let's move on. Our potato is ready, set aside. Now these containers here are about a cup each. So corn, onion, bacon, and celery. Now, you can play around with this. You can get rid of the celery if you want i think it's fantastic in there put mushrooms in or something like that chuck some olives in up to you what you want to do nice big tablespoon of chopped garlic a couple of teaspoons of paprika and oregano again you can play around with these spices as much as you want we're going to get over to the cooker we're going to fry all these off once it's done we're going to mix it into our potatoes it's going to be absolutely wonderful so i've got some oil in there i'm using a sunflower oil you could be using a different oil if you want now what I like to do is get my bacon in first, which I've cut into small pieces. I cook this for about four minutes on a high heat. Now you can use any type of bacon you want, a streaky bacon, a back bacon, a smoked and unsmoked. That's entirely up to you. But I'm gonna go for about four minutes, high heat, see you then. OK, 
see that's coming along really nicely. At this point, I'm going to drop in my celery. You could be getting some grated carrot in here, some zucchini, anything you like, really. And our onion goes in. All cut nice and small. Staying on this heat another four minutes. Keep it moving. Wonderful stuff. Let's get that garlic in now. Plenty of chopped garlic. Gonna get our spices in. I'm using oregano and paprika. Like I say, you can really muck about that with that if you want. Black pepper. And a little bit of salt, not too much, because we've got that bacon in there. My bacon's quite salty. You can adjust that how you want. Three minutes, keep it moving now all the time. Yeah, fantastic. Let's get that sweet corn in. We can turn off the heat. We can give that a little mix. And this is ready. Now, if you wanted, you could cook your bacon longer and get it really, really crispy. I like it just like this, actually. It's cooked nicely to me, for me. Right, next step, we're gonna get this into our mashed potato and give it a lovely mix. Potatoes there, just gonna drop our bacon mixture in. And then with my wooden spoon, we're just gonna work it in to the mash. I'll be back in three or four minutes. Give it a nice, good old mix. So I've now put this into an oven dish. Now you could be using glass, metal, or like me, ceramic. As long as it can go in the oven, that's fine. Get your oven on now, preheat your oven. Get it on maximum heat, get it as hot as you can. Now you might have noticed, I'll put that in and with a fork, I've just kind of touched it up on the top. So there's a few little peaks and troughs, we don't want that. Now, cheese, I'm gonna go with some grated cheddar. And this is gonna go in my oven for about eight or nine minutes. Everything's cooked here, you know what we're looking for. We're looking for that nice golden brown on the cheese, or just to melt the cheese. And that is gonna be wonderful. See you when that comes out. Okay, and there you go, piping hot out the oven. Really delicious, takes a little bit of time, but really, really super. Hope you enjoy that. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, please. Give us a thumbs up, that helps us out a lot. And more importantly, leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. We'll see you soon. Lots of love.